Alrighty, good morning everybody. Today we'll be experimenting with physics using Portal 2 and the Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. Today we'll be examining simple harmonic oscillators made inside the game world. The simple harmonic oscillator consists of two portals, a blue portal and an orange portal, both placed on a horizontal surface. We'll be taking an object, in this case the companion cube, and dropping them through, or excuse me, dropping it through uh, one portal. It'll fall through into the board, uh, blue portal, come out the orange one, and rise to the same height it began at. This process will continue and repeat itself over and over, so we've got a nice simple harmonic oscillator. As a question in the opening video asked, uh, we need to describe the qualitative aspects of the simple harmonic oscillator. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it in here. And we can see that it repeats itself over and over. We can see it's rising to a height and then falling. This is a simple harmonic oscillator, but if you look closely, you'll actually notice that the oscillations are dampened. That is that each time the amplitude is slightly smaller. Each oscillation the amplitude is slightly smaller. Uh, this dampening is coming from air resistance. The cube is a victim of air resistance and it will continue to slow down. You'll notice it will get to a point where it doesn't get any smaller. The amplitudes don't drop any farther. That is because the game places a limit as to how much an oscillator can be dampened. And we're about right there. At this point when it's completely dampened and it cannot get any smaller, we actually have an undampened oscillator. Uh, it's been dampened so much it can't be dampened any further according to the game world. And this is an example of a simple harmonic oscillator that will continue going to the same amplitude on and on forever. Okay, that about answers our first question. Let's go ahead and jump into our second question and try to calculate the strength of gravity within the game. We're going to jump back up onto our ledge and set up a simple harmonic oscillator again. Before we start, let's go ahead and do a little bit of math. We need to find out the amount of time it's going to take uh, to make one complete period, and that's going to be used to find out the strength of gravity within the game. To start off, let's go ahead and calculate how long each period is going to take. If we start with our equation for displacement, we have y equals 1 half gt squared, or our vertical displacement is equal to 1 half times gravity times time squared. We can easily solve for time and find that time is equal to the square root of 2 times y divided by g. That is 2 times the height that we start at divided by uh, gravity. At that point, we can easily turn it into a period. One period is going to be twice that amount of time. It's going to be the amount of time it takes for the cube to fall into one portal and cut rise back up to the same height out of the other portal. So we're going to need to double that. One period is going to be equal to 2 times the square root of 2y over g. And if we want to make it look a little bit nicer, we're going to go ahead and incorporate that 2 into the radical and find that one period is going to take the square root of 8 times our height divided by gravity amount of time. Of course, that gives us a period we need to solve for gravity. So if we rearrange that equation, we find that gravity is equal to 8 times our height, or 8 times y, divided by period squared. All we need to know is from what height our cube is being dropped from and how long it takes to make one period. Now, that will be enough information to find gravity. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and pick up our portal, or excuse me, our companion cube, and we're going to get it set up. Now, we're going to be using for uh, height, we're going to be using the wall panels. We can see all around us the regular, uh, regularly shaped wall, wall panels. Each one of those is going to be counted as one unit. Right now we are two units above the ground, so I'm going to make sure our cube is exactly at two units when I drop it into this blue portal. Um, all we need to do is turn on our stopwatch, and there it is, and get ready to count down. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, drop. And there we go. We can see, according to our stopwatch, that took about 1.8 seconds. Uh, 1.8 seconds corresponds to a strength of gravity of about 4.9 units per second squared. The actual value is 4.7 units per second squared. So in our simple test here, with a dampened oscillation and an imperfect measurement for the height that we're beginning from, I would say 4.9 is pretty close and probably within our errors. And there you have it, two very simple tests made using the Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. This puzzle was made by, my, by yours truly. Uh, it took five minutes to make, and it's something that any student can easily do inside a classroom. There's a lot of good physics involved in this game, and a lot of fun ways we can use it in class. I'm going to go ahead and beat the level, and that's going to be it for today. I hope everybody takes care, and if you have any ideas for more tests using Portal 2, please feel free to add in the comment section. Thank you.